2.6 million acres of land in the state of Wyoming. In total, under the preferred alternative, Wyoming's the largest Trona producer in the nation, the largest coal producer in the nation, and one of the largest. And for the for the record, and uh, appreciate you coming over today, and I yield back. All right. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted to say the rookie in me came out. I should have acknowledged that you were the chairman of the full committee, <laughs> and I didn't. Um, we're going to enter entertain a second round of questioning, if, if you would like. Uh, so the chair is going to recognize uh, the gentlewoman from Wyoming, Ms. Hageman, again for five minutes. Well, thank you for that opportunity. I have so many questions for the BLM. 48% of the surface estate in the state of Wyoming is owned by the federal government, and about 65% is owned of our mineral estate is owned by the federal government. So when those resources are mismanaged, it has an enormous impact on my state and the citizens of my state. And when you have programs such as the 30 by 30, what you now call America the Beautiful, which I would vehemently disagree with because I don't believe that that's ultimately what will happen, um, with those efforts, I think you'll see what we have been seeing over the last several years, which is the continuing of uh, catastrophic forest fires for failure to properly manage our National Forest Service lands. Uh, removing grazing for our, from our BLM lands is going to have very serious uh, impacts not only on the economy throughout the state of Wyoming, but it will impact the quality of those lands and the grasses as well. Um, so I'm going to talk to you specifically about some of the things that the BLM has been doing in the state of Wyoming. In mid-August of this last year, the BLM Rock Springs Field Office introduced their draft resource management plan for revision for the Rock Springs planning area, which makes up 3.6 million acres of land in the state of Wyoming. In total, under the preferred alternative, about 2.5 million acres would be off the table for consideration for new rights of way, and about 1.6 million acres would have been uh, denied any type of access for grazing, oil and gas development, Trona, those sorts of things. By the way, Wyoming's the largest Trona producer in the nation, the largest coal producer in the nation, and one of the largest oil and gas producers in the nation. So these issues are extremely important to us. That <clears throat> would have been an increase of more than 480% four, in acreage off limits to important things like power lines, pipelines, and maintaining roads. And this proposal would also heavily restrict Trona mining as well as oil and natural gas development, which are key contributors to our economy. We learned from a former BLM employee that this proposed alternative took a very short time to develop. It was alternative B. And he said all of their efforts and the $8 million that they spent on this effort was actually focused on developing alternative D as in dog compared to alternative B as in boy. In his words, he said in coming up with alternatives B and C, B basically denying access management and use to the vast majority of these lands, we sat down and in one week we, they developed them together. And so over the years, they spent years developing alternative D and about a week on B and C. Yet, because of this administration, Alternative B was the one that was chosen by the BLM. And having been someone who's dealt with NEPA for decades now, NEPA requires you to take a hard look at the alternatives and the decision that is going to be made. Would you agree with me that spending years on Alternative D as compared to one week on Alternative B demonstrates that the BLM never did take a hard look at Alternative B before deciding that that was the plan that they were gonna go forward with? Uh, Congresswoman, I'm, I'm not aware of these assertions by a former BLM employee, but certainly agree that, that NEPA requires us to take that hard look, and we will do that across all land management planning efforts, including the Rock Springs RMP. Okay, well, would you agree spending years on something would be considered a hard look, and where it look, spending a, a, a week on something probably wouldn't qualify? Again, Congresswoman, I'm not aware of the assertions by this former employee, so I, I would hesitate to speculate, but I am... Uh, Certain that on the Rock Springs RMP, we, we did take that hard look that NEPA requires in compliance with the law. Okay, and really, in large part, you're avoiding my question because you recognize that spending a week on Alternative B isn't most likely going to pass court muster. 
uh, especially when the $8 million of the years were spent on studying alternative D. So I just want to make sure that the BLM truly understands the implications of what happens when decisions are coming out of Washington, D.C., rather than the local offices, and rather than in conjunction with the state and the stakeholders that actually know how to manage the resources in Wyoming. It's extremely damaging when you have an environmental agenda coming out of D.C. that don't really understand, the folks who don't understand how to manage those resources, what it can do to not only a state like Wyoming, but actually the, the, the country as a whole. The war on coal, the war, war on oil and gas, the war on affordable energy is affecting everyone in this country. It's why I've introduced the uh, Energy Poverty uh, Prevention and Accountability Act, because I want to make sure that agencies like the BLM are actually having to quantify the costs associated with the decisions that they make. I think the American people deserve that, and I will again say I think that the BLM needs to come to the table with the state of Wyoming and come up with a legitimate resource management plan for not only the Rock Springs District, but the remainder of Wyoming that BLM controls. So with that, I yield back. All right, the, uh, the chair now records of way, and about 1.6 million acres would have been uh, denied. In that <clears throat> would have been an increase of more than four, 480% in acreage off limits, which is the continuing of uh, catastrophic forest fires for failure to properly manage to important things like power lines, pipelines, and maintaining roads. And this proposal, um, with those efforts, I think you'll see what we have been seeing over the last several years. In mid-August of this last year, the BLM Rock Springs Field Office introduced their draft would also heavily restrict trona mining as well as oil and natural gas development, which are key type of access for grazing, oil and gas development, trona, those sorts of things. By the way, why